All right, welcome to the Video Guys Clip Show part number two. In part one, we covered some of our live streaming and production partners. You can see that on our website. You can also go to our website and on YouTube, on our Vimeo page, you can see all those clips. The clip show is a highlight reel of one minute little highlights from our various partners uh, from the video. So what we're gonna cover today is we're gonna cover our production gear guys. We're gonna cover Atomos and Small HD. Very excited about what they were showing at the show. Uh, Avid had a whole bunch of announcements. Then we're gonna get to our storage guys. So let's roll right into the show. Who are we starting with? Atomos. Atomos, first of all, the Ninja 5 and the Shinobi are shipping. They are in stock. These are five inch monitors. We've done shows on them before and already. Very excited about those products. They were also showing a new product which is their Shogun 7. This is a seven inch field monitor recorder that's intended for the cinema space. Guys who are shooting on ARRI, RED, Blackmagic, the cinema cameras, Panasonic, Sony. It's got some great features I'm gonna tell you about. So let's roll that clip uh, with Dan Chung of Atomos talking about uh, all the great products they were showing at their NAB booth. We have the Shogun 7, brand new, and it's uh, a, a true HDR seven inch monitor. Um, what we've got here is a local area dimming backlight with 360 zones. This has also got switching. So it's oh, got really? four SDI inputs. Same as Sumo 19, right. you'll be able to switch between four different HDMI, uh, sorry, four different HD sources right. on SDI, and they'll be asynchronous. So you don't need the gen lock or anything like you need currently on the Sumo. Right. And we're bringing that same functionality finally to the Sumo. So we have Shinobi SDI, which is here. Uh, so this is a monitor only, right? Thousand nit, um, lightweight. It's everything that's in the Shinobi HDMI that we launched a few uh, months ago. Right. Uh, still got the HDMI, so you can still connect it to your DSLR and mirrorless. So if you're that kind of guy or gal who you know doesn't actually own a camera, but just works as a gun for hire, goes between different sets, works different cameras. Right. You've got one monitor. You can take it with you, put it on any camera, know where you are right. at any point. In Ninja Five, which has been around for a while, uh, gets an SDI module to boot so that'll be SDI in and out all right great job from the Atomos booth and I want to remind everyone that through the end of June we are running some fantastic specials on the Atomos Shogun Inferno and Ninja Inferno the Shogun Inferno is now $9.99 the Ninja Inferno is $7.99 those are seven inch field monitor recorders uh, 4k 60p fantastic deals we also, you know, if you need a bigger monitor because you're on a bigger rig, it's a great choice. If you're looking for the five inch monitors, we have the Ninja and the Shinobi, Ninja 5 and the Shinobi in stock. So great job by Atomos at the NAB show. Great promotions to follow up on the NAB show. And we've got plenty of stock at Atomos. So give us a call and we'll get those units right out to you. Next on, Small HD. Small HD was showing off a new 702 touch monitor and also their Cine 7, which is their own 7-inch cinema monitors. Now, what makes these cinema monitors different than a regular 7-inch monitor is that the Cine monitors actually communicate with the cinema camera, so the touchscreen can control the camera, and the camera can talk to the touchscreen, and it's a little more of an integrated solution. Let's hear what Colin Jackson over at Small HD had to tell us about those products. So our flagship monitor, our 702 Bright, has been around for about three years. Uh, it's a product that kind of has lived its life across all spectrums of the industry. So the 702 Touch is the replacement to the 702 Bright. Um, it, is, it features a 50% increase on the, on the nits of the panel. So the panel is now 1,500 nits. So it was 1,000. No, it's, it's not that this is not bright. This is brighter. Brighter. We actually added a uh, barrel input. So we've okay. listened to our customers that were asking for an alternative to just the uh, battery power so you're able to not only have you know the Sony L, L series battery plate you can swap it out with V mount gold mount batteries which are 702 bright you had your integrated Sony L series or LP6 batteries right this is the uh, Cine 7 and this particular product is the 500 RX for those of you that are utilizing you know wireless technology this is the product that you want to have still offers that uh, DCI-P3 a 100% DCI-P3 color accuracy which is cinema level and with the integrated solution, you don't have to worry about an external, uh, you know, a wireless right. transmitter. That's, that's what I was noticing. So depending on your battery, um, right, this, this unit. Jumped the gun a little bit. Sorry about that, folks. Next, we're going to talk about Avid and what they had. Now, Avid, NAB for Avid is actually two things. First, they have the uh, NAB show. They do Avid Connect ahead of time. Let's, I don't want to go full screen on these slides. 
They have NAB Connect full time uh, before they go to the show, and an NAB Connect is when they break the stuff to their ACA, the Avid community, and Avid really has been listening to their customers through Connect, through their ACAs. Avid is hearing feedback from their users at all levels, from power users like Hollywood Studios and the networks down to the independent users and the independent uh, students who are getting into video editing. And with that information, they were able to take Media Composer and give the user base the new features and the new look that they really wanted. All the new improvements in the Media Composer 2019, I can't stress this enough, comes from the Avid users and what they've been telling people about. Uh, this clip is also going to talk a little bit about artists, DNXIQ and uh, DNXIV, and also the Nexus Pro Shared Storage. I just want to stress with people that we still have Nexus Pro Shared Storage is some really good deals. We can't, uh, if you give us a call, we can get you out. It's some really attractive pricing while supplies last. They have had some pretty significant increases over the last uh, six months, but we still have some units that are still, you know, priced to go. So if you're looking for some shared storage from Avid, Avid Nexus Pro, please give the video guys a call. Now let's roll that video on from the Avid booth with Corey Tedro and Derek Evanson. Hi there, I'm Corey Tedrow. I'm a Senior Solutions Specialist with Avid Technology here at NEB 2019. Big news is a new uh, user interface for Media Composer. Everything's magnetic, so you're taking full advantage of all the space. So I have separate styles uh, or um, views for my banner set up here. We now have a bin map that lets me see at a glance up here, basically a map to let me navigate. Oh, I've got some bins that are way down here in the corner. I can now navigate to that. Something new that we've added is an inspector tool. But the way it behaves is it's basically contextual. So if I click on a clip in a bin, I'm going to get all the metadata for that asset. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our artist I.O. options. The top of the line is our artist DNX IQ. This is your uh, full suite of ins and outs all the way up through um, high resolution, Ultra HD, 4K, full raster supports, all your ins and outs, SDI, HDMI, AES. Um, if you're looking for something a little more portable, we also have the Artist DNX IV. Hi, I'm Derek. Thanks for coming to NAB and visiting the Avid booth. What we're showing on this location is our Nexus product, Nexus Pro. Each Nexus Pro engine provides 400 megabytes per second of bandwidth and up to 24 clients connected to the system and using it for a shared. Okay, great job by Avid and the guys at the Avid booth. Like I said, Media Composer 2019 should be shipping uh, end of May, and we will have a dedicated show. We're bringing in uh, one of the Avid product managers, Kate Ketchup. She's going to tell us all about what's new with Avid Nexus, uh, Avid Media Composer. So look for that show in the near future, the release coming soon. If you're on a subscription or have an annual support plan, of course, you'll be able to get that brand new version for free. Next, we're going to go to our storage partners. Our first storage partner is Lacy. Now. I gotta tell you, see, I had something really cool at the booth that I don't think is in the video, but I had to tell you about it. And that is, they have a new rugged drive that's a rugged RAID that holds two drives. So it looks like about the size of a laptop. You'll see a picture of it. But they had this robot arm throwing it into a backpack every time. It was kind of cool, a very expensive display. It was sending it, it was throwing it through this waterfall that actually had their logo, you know, in the waterfall of this way to do it. So God knows how much dollars it cost them. It looked really cool. I don't know if it's going to sell a single hard drive, but I had to tell people that I thought it was cool. So let's get to the see. The see was showing a new two drive uh, RAID that's uh, just two bay, no reader, no cartridge. It's a two bay RAID. They were also showing a rugged RAID shuttle. That was the one they were throwing into the backpack, like I told you about. And they also had a, a little bit on this, is they were talking about their Iron Wolf drives, which I think is real important because they're very proud. Seagate's come a real long way in the quality and performance of these Iron Wolf drives at a RAID uh, solution. They're enterprise class drives, and they're one of the reasons why the RAID, the, the Lassi big drives and the RAIDs are becoming so popular and doing so well. So without further ado, let's roll to the Seagate Lassi booth and hear what they had to say about their drives. Hi, my name is Jonathan Bowder with LaCie and Seagate at NAB 2019. So we have first our LaCie 2Big RAID. This is our new 2Bay hardware RAID solution with USB-C and 7200 RPM Iron Wolf drives. This is our new rugged RAID shuttle. This is eight terabytes of portable storage and it takes a two-ton crush 
a two meter drop, and it's dust and water resistant. This is our battery powered laptop free hard drive. It has a screen and a battery. One press will light it up. A second press and it's going to copy anything in the SD card slot or any card reader or other drive that you have plugged into the hot USB port. When you do a backup, it creates a backup job and inside this backup job it it uh, labels the folder with a uh, date and timestamp and a unique identifier for each card. Hi, I'm Jason Beno and Product Marketing Manager for the Iron Wolf product line. Here at NAB, we're showcasing our new 14 terabyte drive, the Iron Wolf uh, uh, terabyte, 14 terabyte drive. Alongside with this is our Iron Wolf SSD, which is the 110 SSD, brand new, purpose built for NAS applications. All right, so that was some great news from the C booth. Let's go to another storage partner of ours. G Technology, owned by Western Digital. They are showing off a new uh, set of rugged drives. They call their Armor ATD drives. These drives are blue drives in a rugged uh, rubber enclosure made for uh, all kinds of uh, extreme conditions, outdoors, indoors, when you're traveling with your storage is a great way to go. We're also gonna talk a little about the G Drive Mobile SSD, G Raids, the G Speed Shuttle XLs, and the G Speed Shuttle SSD. So uh, let's roll the uh, G Tech video if we could. Hi, I'm Matt Klatman from G Technology. Is our Armor ATD all-terrain drive? We got a cover on it because it's IP54 waterproof. It's also drop-proof to a meter and crush-proof to a thousand pounds. So this is our G Drive Mobile SSD, and this again is IP67 waterproof, and this is just really fast at 560 megabytes per second. So this goes up to 14 terabytes. We announced our capacity today. Our G RAID. If you look inside here, it holds two drives, removable. You can run these as JBOD, just, just individual disks. Our G Drive Pro SSD, this goes up to just about, just under eight terabytes. Runs on, on a Thunderbolt 3. I'm gonna show you our G Speed Shuttle XL. Up to 112 terabytes. You can run these in various RAID formats from RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, 50, and 60. 7,200 RPM drives, enterprise class, up to 14 terabytes each. This is our G-Speed Shuttle SSD. So 32 terabytes running up to 2,800 megabytes per second over Thunderbolt 3. All right, great job by the folks at G-Tech. You know I'm a big fan of their uh, portable mobile drives and I love the shuttle and the shuttle form factor. We've done a lot of shows on the shuttles and on their SSDs. Keep up the good work, guys, over at G-Tech. One more storage brand to tell you about. The folks at Glyph had some really cool things to show us about. They said two bay raids with and without card readers. And what I really liked about their card reader is they have CFast, which is the more professional uh, storage used by like the Ari and the Blackmagic cameras. They had the Atom Pro new drives and Thunderbolt and a, and a new Thunderbolt 3 uh, dock. So let's take a look at uh, what the G-Tech folks, the Glyph folks had to show us. Good afternoon, welcome to NEB 2019. This is the Glyph booth. So this is actually, it holds two full-size three and a half inch drives. Um, it's removable, so you can pop the drives in, no sleds. They snap right in, easily close the enclosure, and it's lockable. This is also a RAID, and it's holding the two and a half inch drives. And so um, you can have two, two and a half inch spinning drives. This we're also excited about, and this is a drive that is now shipping that we call the Atom Pro, 2,800 megs a second, up to two terabytes of storage. This is a newer version of our Black Box Plus drive. So just a single two and a half inch enclosure can house um, up to five terabytes of uh, spinning disk um, uh, drive, or at SSD, it can house up to a 7.6 terabyte um, SSD drive. Something that's shipping right now that we're really, really excited about is our new Thunderbolt 3 port. So you plug this into your wall, and then we have an 87 watt Thunderbolt 3 um, power pass through. So this guy connects to your computer. So it's gonna be able to charge your computer. And it's also at the same time providing all of this connectivity to you. So it's an Atom, it's an SSD drive up to two terabytes of storage. So if you look here, this is a fingerprint reader. You can have up to six independent fingerprints programmed into this guy. This is a really unique take on a, on a RAID. Using um, bundled software that we will include with this, you'll be able to stripe it in multiple different formats. All right, great job, Mason. I want to give kudos to Glyph for being the first company to be showing in our, in our space portable storage that is encrypted and secured. It's very important. It's becoming more and more important in today's world of you know cloud-based storage and assets everywhere that when there's 
a drive that we have in our pocket, be it a thumb drive or an atom drive or any other drive that we have, that encryption is going to become more and more important. While Glyph's the first one to be showing in NAB, we fully expect to have big information and new products with security built into them, with encryption built into them from LACI, from GTEC, from Glyph, and from other storage vendors because security is becoming more and more important. And you don't want to have something where, you know, you're working on a new show or a new video. Maybe you have some uh, confidential information on your video or a scene or breaking news about a new product or something. You don't want to risk that losing that drive and having someone get access to that critical information. So security and uh, becoming more and more important, and so is encryption. So great job by the folks at Glyph. And that wraps up this show, part two of our NAB news story. Now, the NAB show had a lot more booths, and we weren't able to get to videos on all of them, but all of our vendors did a really great job at NAB. What I'd like to do now is just recap what were kind of like my highlights and takeaways from the NAB show at large. So I'm ad-libbing on this one for the guys. I got about five minutes worth of time, so bear with me, folks. The first thing I want to go into was NAB 2019 was more evolutionary than revolutionary. We didn't see any revolutionary new products, but we're seeing the next progression of the products that we've been seeing. You know, the big news for us video guys of the, all our vendors was the VizRT purchase of new tech. We think that's going to be very important and very big as new tech products now get into more broadca broadcast environments because of the VizRT connection with broadcast vendors. And we're hoping that we get sports packages and graphics packages that are more in line for what the new tech TriCast or TC1 customer is, you know, looking for. And we're hoping to see, you know, maybe a VizRT sports graphics package for high schools or small college sports, as well as things for local elections where you don't have the kind of money and the kind of operators that you would have for a broadcast system, but you still don't have those cool looking graphics. So we're very excited about new tech and VizRT and what the future is going to be for that. Can't talk about new tech without talking about NDI. NDI continues to grow. NDI, it was in multiple booths throughout the show, software, hardware. There wasn't just a new tech NDI pavilion. There was new tech being shown in, I'm not going to say hundreds, but in probably close to 100 booths throughout the NAB show. So this is technology that's really taking hold and that is revolutionizing video production. But that was last year's revolution. Now it's evolving into a product that's more standardized, more stable, more easier to use. And we're seeing a lot of that, and that's getting better and better. So great job by New Tech and NDI. We had, if you saw the other videos, you see there was a lot of NDI partners announcing products. Plus, there's new NDI products coming from people who are not partnering yet. And if you're in the NDI business and you make a product that is hardware or software that's NDI and you're looking for a reseller in the U.S., give video guys a call. We're looking for new products to sell, of course, all the time. Other things that were very important at the show floor, on when you're talking about storage, you're really seeing two big takeaways. One is the emerging of SSD. SSD is really coming on strong. I think we've reached a point where hard drives are getting bigger and bigger, but they're getting so big that it kind of becomes 14, 16, 20 terabytes. You know, do you really need drives that big? And if that drive has to be rebuilt or the stuff has to be copied, have you be gone beyond what I would call the uh, uh, diminishing returns? So we're really excited about SSDs coming on. SSDs, uh, portable SSDs at one terabyte are more affordable. I think really what our customers are looking for is two terabyte affordable SSDs, somewhere around $499. We're not here yet, folks, but it's going to happen. SSD prices are going to get cheaper. There is a global glut of memory right now. We had shortages for the last few years. Now there's supply is greater than demand, so you're seeing prices come down. You're also seeing yields go up on bigger SSD wafers, so they're getting higher yields, they're getting able to make the bigger size SSD storage in one terabyte, two terabytes, maybe we'll even see four terabytes over the way. So SSD is coming on, and like we talked about before, you know, encryption is going to be a big part of storage as well. On the video editing point, we're talking about, you know, Avid with Media Composer, but Adobe was showing some real cool stuff with Premiere Pro and After Effects. One of the coolest things they had was an automatic replacement of objects from a moving video. So they showed a picture of a car going down a highway and there was a bicycle guy on a bicycle on the highway as well. And they were able to remove him from the image. Very cool, cool technology. Of course, it means who knows what we'll be able to believe anymore when we see because seeing something with our own eyes, we can't believe them anymore because the imagery and the ability to manipulate video has gotten so strong. So that's going to be something we're going to have to deal with. But the Adobe folks were showing some cool stuff on video editing. 
And then in the live production space in general, while we talk about NDI, certainly other IP-based solutions are coming in on the higher level. The SMTP folks have stuff that's going on. And we saw the big people in the big uh, hardware side of the business, guys like uh, Grass Valley coming out with their own IP solutions and higher end solutions. So it's a very exciting time in the industry. NAB, evolutionary, not revolution, but still a lot of good stuff coming. And we hope when you have questions about this stuff, you'll give us a call. Call the video guys at 800-323-2325. We have live people who can tell you about the products we sell. We've got two new guys operating the TriCaster for us. We've got Oliver and Adam. There are new studio operators running the show from the TriCaster, but they're also using all the equipment we sell. You can call them and ask them about the products. They will help guide you on what's the right product to get for your budget, for your needs, for whatever you're trying to work on. We can help you with your NDI workflows. We can help you with your shared storage workflows. We can help you with your asset management, media management issues as well. Video guys, we're here. We've been using this technology forever. Uh, as long as there's been desktop video, the video guys have been here. And I hope you rely on us to be your experts, to help you make the right purchasing decision. I hope when it comes time to purchase those products, you appreciate the uh, videos we produce, the blog articles, and even the live person on the phone and give us a chance to get your business and get your order because that's actually what makes us able to be successful and put on these shows is people buying stuff from us. So please don't hesitate to purchase products from videoguys.com, to call us on the phone to purchase products. We also take uh, purchase orders from schools and government agencies, as well as if you're a Fortune 500 company we work with you. And once again, if you're looking for a big order that's on multiple seats or multiple units of something, we can always sharpen our pencil a little bit and get you a little better deal. So this was Gary from videoguys.com. Thanks for tuning in to part two of our NAB 2019 clip show. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for liking us and following us on Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitter. Keep that social media going. Share this video, share our videos, share our blog posts. Tell your friends about us. That's what helps us out. Thank you very much. Gary from Video Guys. Peace, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.